Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC. In today's video we're going to be taking another look at Japanese snacks from Market Tokyo. Um, so we've got an assortment today, mostly savoury snacks, um, and it's just things that were grabbed while they were on sale. I think they were like sort of um, going out of stock um, seasonal shift. So um, for today's selection we have got Smoked cheese snacks, edamame crackers, mentaiko chips, uh, sitori chocolate, and Georgia's original canned coffee. I'm going to start off with the usual um, savoury snacks, which is, again, as I say, mostly what we have today. And I'm going to try some of this uh, smoked cheese. Um, now, I'm not sure how they're going to be doing this. Um, given that it's cheese and normally cheese you would store in a fridge but this appears to be sort of dried and preserved ooh, ooh that's a lovely smoked smell there as you open it up <laughs> they, look, <laughs> they look like little bits of rock candy <laughs> but, um, here we have individual little rolls of cheese they look like the um, is it Bavarian cheese, I think, that looks like that? Or Austrian, one or the other. Um, but yeah, smells really good. Mmm, yeah. It tastes just like that smoked cheese. The um, large, I'm pretty sure it's Bavarian smoked cheese. Um, with sort of like the brown skin around the outside. And a lovely soft, creamy middle. But yeah, it has this sort of um, slightly tough, chewy skin. Not as hard as like the large proper cheese rolls. Um, but inside that gives away to a sort of melt in the mouth, creamy center. Mm, and it's just lovely, absolutely lovely. So yeah, these pretty much, they're sort of like well, appetizers and hors d'oeuvres, that kind of thing, as it shows on the back. But, um, you know, really nice as a snack as well, but probably not something you should eat a bag of, because I don't think it's that healthy to eat a bag of cheese. So, um, <laughs> um, I'm just going to put the rest of those away for now. Maybe I might have them as part of a meal or something. But, um, yeah, really very nice, very tasty, and lovely smoked flavour. Very good. Next up, I'm going to go ahead with the um, edamame snacks. So these look like little crackers uh, in uh, little bags as well. So that's good, little um, servings rather than the whole bag at once. So. so yeah, here we have just little crackers. They look a bit like, um, you know, the sweet chili crackers, the uh, rice ones, rice crackers. Yep, and that's what they are. Just nice little thin, crunchy crackers with the lovely taste of edamame. Mm. Lightly salted as well, just for a little bit of seasoning. And just that little hint of sweetness that makes your mouth water. Mm. Yep, lovely, lovely. Not too much else to say about those. Um, they taste like edamame, um, and they just have really lovely texture, lovely Moorish. Just oh, you just make me want to eat a lot. So yeah. Really, really nice ones. If um, if you're a fan of edamame beans or pea snacks, they do taste very similar to the pea snacks. Then yeah, you'll definitely enjoy those. Okay, uh, next up we're going to move on to the uh, mentaiko chips. Um, I don't know what to expect from these. Uh, these are from Koikea, uh, another good Japanese brand. Um, they kind of look like they're Doritos, but. Um, I don't know whether they will be. Oof. Hmm, yeah. 
something of a seafood broth smell to that. <laughs> Interesting one. Um, but these ones, they're kind of like puffed corn. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember um, 3D Doritos, 3 Doritos that they did a long time back now. Uh, and then they stopped doing, at least here in the UK, I don't know about anywhere else. But um, they're kind of like that. Um, bugles, they look like bugles. Or at least the texture looks like bugles. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of tastes like that seafoody broth flavour. Um, it's kind of a, it's a little bit like prawn cocktail, but. but not quite because it does have that flavor of fish to it rather than you know just the sauce flavor of prawn cocktail crisps mm. the texture is really nice the flavor is pretty good I think it could do with being a little bit more saucy in flavour, but um, the way that it does focus on the flesh, the, the fish taste definitely does make it different to any sort of flavour you'd get here in the UK, or perhaps even in the West. Because yeah, this definitely isn't something I'd find normally in this country, but. Mm pretty good. It's like eating fish fingers and ketchup flavoured crisps, almost. Mm. Yeah. Really good. Great texture, interesting flavour, and yeah, just a really nice, unique flavour that you probably wouldn't normally find. Really good. Okay, next up, uh, the sweet flavour, but it's something of a biscuity kind of thing. This is Sitori chocolate. And I think these are the ones which are actually soaked in the chocolate, which um, would be really good. So let's open them up. And here we are, you can see they're kind of the biscuity, sort of rusk kind of thing. And they are indeed soaked in the chocolate, you can see. Um, so it kind of reminds me of like cornflake cakes. Mm. Yeah, that's what it's like, like texture-wise, at least. Oh, little heart, how cute. Texture-wise, it is like a cornflake cake. Taste-wise, it's kind of like Nesquik breakfast cereal. Or something like that. Um, the chocolate isn't too sweet, but it is certainly very chocolatey. And again, texture, light, fluffy, and then creamy with like the chocolate soaked into it. Really nice. Mm. The chocolate taste overall isn't the best. It's kind of like, you know, typical cheap chocolate kind of flavor. But you know, even good, even even cheap chocolate is still good because it's chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really nice one. Oh, and it even does suggest at the bottom here, just serving it with milk as like a breakfast cereal. So hmm, maybe I might give that a go. Sounds pretty good. But for now, I'll leave it as it is. Very yummy. And to finish off, we're going with Georgia brand coffee. Um, oh, I believe, uh, depending on the order I get round to um, doing these videos, um, we probably have already tasted Boss and Fire by this point, I think. Um, so this will be another brand of coffee to try. Um, we might have also done Wanda, but I don't remember doing that, so... But 
irrelevant. Uh, and we're now trying Georgia coffee. So this is the original blend, class, uh, brand, sorry, classic original quality coffee since 1975. Ooh, so, opening up, looks fairly dark. Ooh, looks like it's just got a little tiny touch of milk in it. Mm. Doesn't smell very strong, but... Ooh, that is really nice. That is like just the perfect amount of milk and sweetener to just take the edge off the bitterness of the coffee. Yeah, that is really, really good. Um, this is this is the kind of like instant, um, not instant, iced coffee um, that I would pick up like. Um, from the supermarket and start my day with. It's just really nice and refreshing. The flavor is just just the perfect balance of sweet milk and the strongness of the coffee. So, mm. yeah, very lovely. It's not strong coffee at all. It's very mild, very easy to just pick up and drink. Um, it's not one that's gonna punch you, uh, wake you up in the morning first thing. But it's, it's just the kind of thing to, to lull you out of sleep and perk you up nice and gently, ready for the day ahead. Mm. Very nice, very flavourful. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this has to be one of my favourites so far of the brands that I've tried. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be on the top there with um, Boss, the Boss Milk Coffee. Um, yeah, very, very nice and smooth. I definitely recommend trying that one if you're able to. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Um, all really good stuff. Really, really enjoyed it. There isn't anything that I'm really particularly disappointed in. Uh, the Mentaiko ones, a little bit iffy on them, but that's mainly because, again, that's a rather Eastern flavour that I'm not familiar with. But it's definitely very good and very interesting to try. You know, I definitely recommend uh, picking up something Mentaiko flavor if you want to, you know, try something a little bit new um, as far as snack food goes. Uh, everything else just really, really great. Can't say a bad thing about any of these, really, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's it from the Market Tokyo. Uh, again, uh, really good prices from Market Tokyo. Um, they don't offer free shipping, unfortunately, because they are a very small business, but um, still really good stuff, a great range of stuff, and a lot of it is just priced more cheaply than other places as well. Um, so yes, please check out Market Tokyo, as always, down in the description, along with my own links to social media and things like that. So please like, comment and subscribe if you um, like the video and let me know what you think. So for now, that is it. Thank you for joining me, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.